I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets.
don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires, but all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters, prepared and well-trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, 
But it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities.
Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit, it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. <laughs> 